Today, I'm going to show you how to make this cool paper rip transition effect using Fomar 11. Keep watching! Hi everyone, it's Chloe from WannaShare from Mar here to empower your inner video creator. The paper rip is a distinct visual effect that is commonly used by many video editors. This easy effect can be used as a cool operator for music videos, vlogs, or even short films. Today, I'm going to show you how to add the paper texture to your videos and use paper rip transition creatively in Fomar 11. If you haven't already downloaded in Fomar 11, Get started by going to fomarnawatershare.com or click the link in the description. To get started with this effect, first, we will need a photo of white paper and two video clips that we want to add the effect to. Drag and drop clip one onto the timeline. Move the playhead to the last frame of the clip. Right click the clip to open the menu and select add freeze frame. Make a cut here. Drag and drop the paper photo onto the second video track of the timeline. And make sure it starts at the cut on the first video track. Double click the paper picture to open the settings window. And open the compositing menu. Change the blending mode from normal to multiply. In the preview window, we can see that the freeze frame has the paper texture now. Then, I'm going to use the new feature in Fomar 11 to export this small portion of video. Press I on the keyboard to set the in point. Fomar will automatically set the out point on the timeline. Then, click Export and choose Create Video. Let's name it Freeze Frame 1. It will only export the selected part on the timeline. I will right-click on the timeline to cancel the selected range. Now, I will import freeze frame 1 to the media folder. Let's replace the freeze frame and the paper photo with this clip. Adjust length of this new clip to about 1 second. I'm going to make the second part of the transition effect. Drag and drop clip 2 onto the timeline. Move the playhead to the first frame of the clip. And this time, let's use the keyboard shortcut Alt and F to add a freeze frame. Now, move the playhead to the end of the freeze frame and make a cut here. Drag and drop the paper photo onto the second video track of the timeline. And make sure it starts at the beginning of the freeze frame on the first video track. Let's change the blending mode to multiply as well. Let's select the range that I want to export by setting in and out point like we did before. Press I on the keyboard to set the in point. Move the playhead to the end of this freeze frame and press O on the keyboard to set the out point. Use shortcut Ctrl and E to open the export window. Let's name it freeze frame 2, then export it. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Shift and X to cancel the selected range. I will import freeze frame 2 into the media folder and replace the freeze frame and the paper photo. Adjust the length of this new clip to about 10 frames. Now, we will add several Fomar transitions to finish the effect. Go to the Transitions window and find Evaporate 2. Drag and drop it onto the cut between the clip 1 and freeze frame 1. Also onto the cut between the clip 2 and the freeze frame 2. Shorten the length of the transition. Then. Let's find Torn Paper Transition 4 in the Transitions window. Drag and drop it onto the cut between Freeze Frame 1 and Freeze Frame 2. Choose Prefix Mode in the Transition Setting window. Adjust the length if needed. OK, it's done. Let's play it back and see how it looks. Alright, now you know how to create a paper rip effect in Fomar 11. How would you use it in your next video? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time!